This video discusses the steps to creating a large open world using multiple landscape actors and the resulting issues and limitations. I do not recommend using this method for obtaining larger worlds. This video is mainly to show that it is possible. One of the main advantages to creating a large open world using multiple landscape actors is the lower memory requirement on the developer computer. This is because the total landscape area is imported in tile pieces rather than as one large height map. A 2x2 two two tile set will in theory require one quarter the amount of memory during import. To create a large open world using separate landscape actors, create the main height map as a multiple of the tile size that you are wanting, being sure to include an adjustment for the shared edge. The math formula to calculate this will be tile size times number of tiles minus number of tiles minus 1. So for a 2x2 two two tile set of 4033 by 4033, the main height map size you will need is 4033 times 2 minus 2 minus 1, or 8066 minus 1, which equals 8065 by 8065. Prepare the height map by resampling it to 1 meter spacing if required, and then cropping to the required tile size. To create the tiles in TerraSculptor, load the main height map into the tile creator, choose the number of tiles, and enable the shared edges checkbox. In this example, we are using 2x2 two two tiles of 4033x4033 and shared edges. Save the tiles using the sequential file name so that you don't mess up and confuse the Unreal Engine landscape importer. You have to import these tiles as separate landscapes and not as a single tile set. In Unreal Engine, choose Landscape Mode. Select the first tile numbered 01 and import it. Make sure to keep track of the location XY in the Landscape Details panel after you have imported. Now adjust the location XY by subtracting 2 times the value so that you move the landscape over for the next tile. That places the landscape actor along the world XY0 bounds, as seen in the top view. This usually takes a long time for the move to complete in Unreal Editor. When you import the next tile, use the original location value that you wrote down from the first tile import. You will use that for the location of the next import.
You can tell if you have the location value correct by the placement of the Landscape Import Preview Mesh. Import all four tiles. Texture as desired. You may find that an auto material or splat map material system works best for this type of setup. The main issue and limitation when using multiple landscape actors is that you cannot paint or sculpt across landscape edge boundaries. This also means that edit layers and splines will not work across landscape actors. So you will want to make sure that you have the final finished height map as tiles for the import and that no editing is required in Unreal. The second issue that you will encounter is that the edge where the landscape actors meet will have a slight shadow irregularity where the shadow is not rendered properly. This usually results in a darker shadow along the edge that is about 20% darker than the surrounding triangles. This will usually be hidden by foliage and texturing though. Be sure to use a shared edge in the tile splitting, otherwise you will end up with cracks between the edges of the landscapes.